uh, Rett syndrome is a rare neurodevelopmental disorder. Uh, it primarily affects females. The incidence of the condition is about one in 10,000 to one in 15,000 births. However, it can also occur in males at even a, a, a lower frequency and much less is known about the disease uh, course in males. It's caused by mutations or disruptions in a gene called MECP2, which stands for methyl CPG binding protein. It's a, a very abundant protein in the brain that binds methylated DNA and can um, uh, impact uh, the transcription of thousands of genes in the brain. Um, and when that uh, protein is disrupted, you end up with, uh, with Rett syndrome. Now, because MECP2 is on the X chromosome, um, even though it's, a, it's typically a heterozygous recessive disorder, because of X inactivation, it presents clinically um, as a dominant disorder. So that's why it predominantly affects females, even though it's on the X chromosome. The typical disease course of Rett syndrome, um, I think what's most heartbreaking about this disorder is the fact that when these um, individuals are born, there's no signs of a disorder and they typically show relatively uh, apparently normal neurotypical development for the first six months to a year of age. Um, and then often there's a developmental delay and then they actually go through um, a regression of their acquired skills, which I think is really difficult for parents. So any language or speech that they've acquired, any um, mobility that they've acquired, any purposeful hand use, all of that um, disappears. Uh, and then they, once that regression phase is over, it kind of stabilizes. Uh, and this is all occurring in you know, early toddlerhood. Uh, most diagnoses occur around the age of two um, years of age. And then um, a, a number of other symptoms begin to emerge. Um, a lot of, of individuals will develop seizures. Um, they, uh, most symptoms actually end up impacting almost every single body system. So seizures are very common. Um, they have very limited or no communication because they've lost speech. They don't have purposeful hand use. Um, and the communication piece is actually the most difficult for parents um, to deal with. Uh, but they also have a lot of autonomic dysfunction. They have um, aberrant breathing patterns that are uh, involuntary. They have heart rate variability, a number of sleep disruptions, uh, GI dysmotility is very common, a lot of GI discomfort. Um, they often develop orthopedic issues. A number of individuals will go on to have scoliosis surgery. They also have um, uh, contractures that often need to be released with uh, like a tendon release surgery. Uh, and they have typically have aberrant or apraxic gait. Um, uh, oh, and then the other, the other major symptom they develop is um, repetitive hand movements with um, a hand stereotypes that are very common. Mm -hmm.